program files. Yep. Okay, there we go. Did it automatically for me. Um, oh, that did it like that, actually. I'll use the print function. Just to... Okay, there we go. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, ch uh, change that to no gram file. No, no gram files. Uh, and again, forgot to put the print in. Sorry. Okay, say we have something like this. Uh, ah, did this again. Okay. This is really bad right now, but uh, just trust me on this one. We have something like this, okay. Now, this is never going to happen. You're never going to have something called C no gram files or no gram files or something like that. But you might have um, something like C backward slash program files backward slash NATO backward slash not allowed backward slash or with lowercase actually just while I remember uh, backward slash um, never enter this or something like that okay if I enter this that's not what I entered in the first place uh, now you can simply let me just copy this one I guess you could simply just um, escape these backward slashes Okay, you can escape backward slashes, by the way. I haven't mentioned that before, but you can. Uh, and it will work like that. But if you've got something like this that's pretty damn long, you know, and or something even longer, or even something shorter, it can get frustrating, especially if you're doing it constantly. So that's where raw strings come in. If I just do this whole thing again, but I put an R at the beginning to make it raw, and I press Enter, you can see, even without the escaping, uh, without escaping the backslashes, everything is fine. And that's because I put that R in front uh, just before the um, opening quote. That mi that signifies that this string is a raw string, and it means. Remember how we talked about like raw input and input? How input expected perfectly format, perfectly formatted input here, yeah, and raw input didn't. This is basically the same thing. Using a raw string, a raw string doesn't expect perfectly formatted input, okay? Whereas a regular string does, okay? So that's what raw strings are. Um, in a uh, fairly distant future, when we get on to stuff like regular expressions where you have backward slashes um, around the place, lots of key characters, and all that fun stuff. Uh, using raw strings can come really handy so you don't have to escape tons of stuff. You can just type it in as is and it doesn't make it confusing as well. That's another thing. When you escape stuff it can make it really confusing. Okay, So that's one of the virtues of uh, raw strings. Anyways guys, for now and for this tutorial over and out.